Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Wednesday morning. So glad you're able to join Tom and I with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. I have my morning tea. Hope you have your morning beverage and what a way to start our day when we can hear God's word and to praise him. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 1. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff, which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when the judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. Let us pray. Lord God, in your loving wisdom, you have set us beside the fountain of life, like a tree planted by running streams. Grant that the cross of your Son may become our tree of life in the paradise of your saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue in our reading in Job in the 42nd chapter. Then Job answered the Lord, I know that thou canst do all things and that no purpose of, of thine can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore, I have uttered what I did, not under, that I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Here I will speak. I will question you and you declare to me. I had heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but, but, not, but now my eyes see thee. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. After the Lord had spoken these words to Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz the Timonite, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends, for you have not spoken to, of me what is right as my servant Job has. Now therefore take seven bulls and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you, for I will accept his prayer, not to deal with you according to your folly. For you have not spoken of me with the, which is right, what is right, as my servant Job has. So Eliphaz the Timnite, and Bildad the, Shu, the Shuhite, and Zophar the Nanamanite, went and did what the Lord had told them. And the Lord accepted Job's prayer. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for the friends, and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then came to him all his brothers and sisters and all who had known him before and ate bread with him in his house, and they showed, and they showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a ring of gold. And the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning, and he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a 1,000 yoke of oxen, and a 1,000 she-asses. He had also seven sons and three daughters. And he called the name of the first Jemiah. Uh, uh, hmm. And the name of the second Keziah. Uh, and the name of the third Karen Kapuk. And in all the land there was no woman as fair as Job's daughters. And their father gave them inheritance among their brothers. And after this, Job's, Job lived 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons, four generations. And Job died an old man and full of days. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks Thank be you. to God. Let us pray. Oh, let's go to Acts first. Acts 16, beginning with the 16th uh, verse. As we were going to the place of prayer, we went. Uh, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners much gain by soothsaying. She followed Paul and, and us and crying, These men are servants of the Most High God who proclaim to you the way of salvation. And, she, and this she did for, for many days. But Paul was annoyed and turned and said to the spirit, I charge you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. But when her owners saw that this hope of gain was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the rulers. And when they had brought them to the magistrates, they said, These men are Jews, and they are disturbing our city. They advocate customs which is not lawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in attacking them, and the magistrates tore the garments off them and gave orders to beat them with rods. And when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw themselves them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe. Having received this charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Oh, I can't wait to finish that story because I know the ending and it's a good one. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now, now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Keep, we pray you, O Lord, your church with your perpetual mercy, and because without you we cannot but fall. Keep us ever by your help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you for joining Tom and, and I on this Wednesday morning. So glad that you're able to be with us. And I hope that you watch Pastor Matthew to, uh, in this evening. And hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.